Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Code 43 and I'm here to give you the mid karma reading for the mid month of October your 2023 for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or a subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much joy, love, hope, harmony, happiness, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back, my awesome Sagittarius. You guys are always welcome here. If you are a cross watcher, you're always welcome as well. I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to all readings, there's various types that are out there. Just remember to focus on the energy and the messages and how it resonates with you in your life. Do not ever force a reading. If it's not for you, that's okay. Leave it behind for somebody else. You're always welcome to share it with them. You can always just enjoy it or learn from it or something like that, but don't ever force it, okay? Always exercise your free will and do what's best for you and your family at all times. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God. Jesus Christ, your angels, healers, helpers, guides, those who paved the way, your ancestors, your loved ones, you have family and friends who got you. They look down on you. They're looking over you. They're taking care of you. They're sending blessings and help. Turn to the most high. Love God. Keep them first at all times. Believe in yourselves and always do what's best, okay? Listen to your intuition. It will guide you, all right, for you know decisions with your family members, your friends, for you. It will guide you, okay? trust it. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so awesome about helping me grow my channel. Thank you for your support. All the information about the services that I offer at this time is listed there in the description box. It should say more, I guess, in bold under this video. And some people may have like an arrow down, but anyways, the information with my PO box, all of that stuff and the services I offer is there. So just email me if you guys have any question. I'm happy to help. When it comes to grants and different kinds of scholarships and different things for all ages. You'd be surprised what you qualify for. Fill out these grants, you guys. A lot of them are usually time sensitive. Sometimes you have a month. Sometimes you have two months. Sometimes you have a couple. Sometimes it's a week or a few days. So fill in these grants. Some of them range from like five to 25,000. Some of them start at 25,000 for small business owners. And if it does not like apply for you guys, you know, to start your businesses and stuff, See if they have a grant like that, like near your city or your state or something like that, wherever you are, there's resources out here. Talk to people, find out, call, get information. Okay. You never know, you know, when that blessing is coming in, but you have to manifest. Manifesting is filling out these applications, starting those businesses, looking into things, doing the research, praying about it, taking action on it. Okay. These are all ways to manifest. So get in where you fit in. Everything's been prayed and meditated on. This is the mid month karma reading. It gets deep. So please feel free to click off now if you feel like the subject matter will be too sensitive for you. Always do what's best for your mental health. These readings provide preparation. It's a heads up and a reminder that these people did not get away with what they did to you. God sees all, he knows all, and believe me, justice comes to the good, okay? You guys will have a good harvest. So let's jump in to the reading. The overall energy is bad attitude. There's a narcissist or a group, could be more than one, could be a few. This could be a love interest, could be um, to inflame a soulmate. It could be um, a sibling, a family member, your parents, people you know, co-workers, a boss. Take it how it resonates, but people around you, so-called friends, I'm hearing included. Somebody always had a bad attitude. This person stands out to you. They go to parties and functions just to talk about people. They're like a complete clown. You know what I mean? You don't feel like, you, you don't feel right taking this person anywhere. They have addictions they usually can't handle. You know, they're they're the ones in the bathroom or turning away from everybody, sniffing Coke or drinking more than they should. You know, when you have office parties, Christmas parties, if you celebrate holidays or different job functions, you cannot carry yourself like that. I always tell people, remember this, even when you're off the clock, if you're around your bosses and coworkers, you're all, you have to act like you're on the clock. Even if it's just like, they tell you, unwind and relax. No, 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 no. You have to make sure that you maintain professionalism because everything is under a microscope. They, they want to see who's really the alcoholic and who can't handle their liquor or who overeats, you know, foolishly and indulges and who really want to, you know, come out that closet and really say what they want to say, you know what I mean? And disrespect people like, who, who are they? You know, this is where people really um, have themselves you know, have this big mirror when they think it's not there. They want you comfortable to believe that just because we're out to lunch with your bosses and stuff, that that mirror is not there. That mirror is definitely there. Okay. That camera's there. See them as the camera. 
So, but anyways, um, you can have a good time, but make sure you maintain professionalism. Make, t- make sure you know when to go home and not to overshare. You have to stay on your P's and Q's. But this person always had a bad attitude everywhere they go. They provoked you to get out of character is what I'm hearing. They would, um, this is what narcissists do. Hurt hurt your feelings and then stand back and watch the reaction. Stand back, watch the show so they can say, well, look, she's out of control. He has issues. He has problems when it's really them. They provoked it. You guys are a fire sign, so you guys already know how these people can be. These people who are low down, dirty, and evil have fallen from grace. And this is truly sad because this tells me that God had a higher calling for them. And unfortunately, they did not meet those expectations. They knew what to do. You guys may have served as a guide of motivation. You may have enlightened this person. You may have come in their in the world in their life to enlighten them to work side by side with you but they were not willing to follow through with the mission this person has a blocked heart chakra so people see them as a disappointment they don't respect them you know they they fall from grace a lot of them had their um gifts revoked so as your gifts increased your spiritual gifts especially increased they lost a lot of theirs or it's not working things they want now they're not getting they're being blocked and they, and it's because they had a blocked heart chakra when it came to true love. They don't appreciate people. They didn't appreciate you like they should have. They didn't show you the gratitude. You know, this is the kind of person that eat at your table and disrespect the food or disrespect the effort that you put in, you know, not constructive criticism, but just criticism. They love to criticize you and others in various ways, but you guys found out what this is. Spirit enlighten you about that that third eye chakra. Their heart is very cold. It's dark. It's black. Yeah, they don't they don't give people the love that they they should. They may have been abandoned as a child, and it's interesting because when it comes to these narcissists, abandonment comes in various forms. Okay, and when it comes to these narcissists, it's like they take it personal. You know, especially let's just say for example, if you know, God forbid, they lost a sibling, somebody they were really close to, or a family member or something like that when there was a child. They took this personal as if it was like an attack on them or something like that. Even if it was just like natural causes or health issues, they never got over it. They got older, but they never grew up. You know, and some of them had abandonment issues if parents were right there in the house and maybe they were dealing with depression or drugs or something like that. This person struggle with abandonment issues. So they were not going to treat you right, but they didn't want you going anywhere. It's very toxic. You you discovered how unhealthy they are. They feel inferior. They feel like people always leave them behind, and they do, and it's because they don't grow. They don't elevate to be in their higher energy, to be their best self. They breadcrumb. They're a taker. They're a user, and they feel inferior inside. It's, it's interesting because these narcissists will pump out their chest and you know, act like they don't have any problems that act like they're doing everything right. And that's, that's not true. They feel inferior inside, but on the outside, they come across as very arrogant. Like they're better than everybody else. Like they're more important. Like no matter what they do wrong, you know, that don't matter. Long as you do one small thing wrong compared to a billion things they've done. It's a whole issue. Your thing could be very small where it's not even a problem. But to them, you know, they look for issues. They look for problems so that they can pick on you. They feel inferior inside. They're very um, insecure people. You guys will have karmic justice. Your divine masculine or feminine acted like a karmic. They chose karmics over you. And some of these karmics were like addictions. Drinking too much, smoking. Overindulgence. Porn. Sex addictions is here. They overindulge in the wrong things. They're greedy. These people are greedy. But you guys will have justice. The karmics they chose over you are only going to, I'm hearing, dissatisfy them. They will never be satisfied. They have to fill up on God and self-love. They have to earn respect. back. They got to earn God's respect. God is not pleased with them. Falling from grace is not good. That means their ancestors, their family members on the other side, they're like shaking their head. They are not pleased. That's not okay. The worst place people can be is in trouble with God. God knows this person should have found the strength. They had everything they need, the love in you. They had hope. They had everything that they needed. 
the tools, the guidance. You guys guided them to go get treatment, go to Alcohol Anonymous or different various programs to overcome their addictions and their toxic ways and traits. They wouldn't do it. And now they have no joy, no happiness. So while they're still indulging in drugs and alcohol and sex and just anything, I'm hearing it's like nothingness. It's like they're indulging things that just don't matter. It's 3D. It's toxic. It's not good for them. Their body is suffering. They don't have any peace. They don't have no happiness. You know, it's only cloudy skies ahead, dark, dark, gray, thick clouds ahead. Well, those storms come with tower moments. Things are falling and breaking down. They're breaking down. They over invested elsewhere as well. They invested into these karmics. This person has a big mouth. Um, they take inappropriate risk with money that should have been invested in you and your family, in real estate, legacy, a home, taking care of a home, being there for kids, helping you out. It's like they like watching you struggle. Like I said, you guys will have a good harvest. Blessings will come. Focus on blessings and winning every day. They should not have done this. You guys didn't deserve this. Like I said, this is very selfish, greedy energy. And they're paying the price with their health. They're looking old. They've aged. They do have health issues and it shows. I want you guys to know that some of these people have to wear two and three pairs of pants, two and three pairs of clothes, whether it's hot, cold, don't matter the season. They're not wearing it for warmth and comfort most of the time. They're wearing it because they're withering away. Some of them have things that are incurable, that cannot be fixed. Only God can fix. Some of them are getting um, more wrinkles. Their hair is turning snow white. They, um, you know, it's beyond gray. It's turning white. And um, you can see the changes in their face, in their eyes. Their skin is sinking in. They're looking older than their time for people their age. They're not taking care of their body. And what, however they're treating their body on the inside that you couldn't see for the long time, now it's showing up on the outside. I feel like a lot of these people are withering away. They're sick. They're sicker than they're saying. They're, they're experiencing some illness and they've aged. It shows in their bones, their skin, their teeth. I'm hearing they're not taking care of themselves. Their poor body, you know, may God have mercy on their soul because they have ruined their bodies. They're numbing and suppressing. Yeah, drugs this year. That's what I thought. Drugs and alcohol. They're mixing them too. Lacing it with different things. Experimenting with all kinds of things. They're out of control. People like this need to be forced into a program. I'm hearing that in some states, um, governments are, are signing, or governors or office officials, somebody signing bills. Somebody in a higher up position in government is finally signing bills. It could be mayors or something like that or... Um, anyways, they're signing bills that these people need conservatorship, and I'm grateful for this, and I hope it comes very soon because you guys may have to group up with your family, do another intervention, go to the courts, and, and get this person in treatment forcefully, you know, if you if you want to be a part of that. Some of you guys have washed your hands and walked away, and I definitely understand that as well, but you may want to um, refer this to their family or, or friends or something like that or their kids or something if they're adults. You know, let people know, hey, they're numbing, they're suppressing, they're they're trying to hide from the pain. This tells me they have physical pain and mental, and it's severe, it's deep. This person's in trouble. They're in deep trouble. Like for some of them, their life is on the line. So, you know, God be with you guys, you know, stay strong, keep loving God, keep loving yourselves. This person is losing. They feel like a loser too. They know they messed up with you. Even though they thought it was funny and laughed in your face and did horrible things to you. They, these people never think it's going to come back on them. But like I said, God sees all. He knows all. And karma does not miss. God's karma does not miss. It don't miss an address. God does not miss a person. It's better to be on the good side of karma. There's good and bad. Stay on the good side. Stay blessed. This person unblessed themselves by giving money and love and time and energy to other people. But that love is very little because they don't have love for themselves. So it was mostly a mask. It was pretend. And it's sad because they had real love in you. They lost you. Their their body is taking some hits and they're going to lose a job. Some of them will be fired because they're going to get caught um, using, I'm hearing drugs, narcotics, drinking on the job, like pretending like it's coffee or something else, but it's really like alcohol or they're acting like they're soda. It's like they're mixing. 
they're mixing. I'm hearing even like cough syrup and stuff like they're mixing stuff they shouldn't be. Um, Cause it's out of control now. It's, it's really bad. Like they're doing things on a next level. That's a worse level. So they're hiding it, but they can't hide anymore because people see it. They see how this person has changed. They don't look the same. They don't act the same. It's, it's coming out. It's coming through their pores. People can smell them. They can tell this person is very grouchy, very irritable. People don't like being around them. People don't respect them anymore. They feel like this person is a disgrace. It's, it's really sad because this person had beyond excellent potential. They knew their purpose. They had a purpose with you and they chose not to live it. And it's, it's, it's a shame they should have. And they know they should have. They gave up because they like toxicity. They like drugs. They like alcohol. They love being toxic. You guys are calling in blessings. It says, knowing the power of your free will to create your reality, you have another chance to create the life that you want. And, and you know you deserve so much better than this. You know, you guys deserve a loving partnership, great relationships, people that's here for the long term, people who are honest and loyal, people who have high integrity, people who love themselves, love you. They love God. They love serving God. They love walking their purpose. They love learning and healing. This person never healed. They never wanted to. You guys have patience that people never thought you would have. This is something you guys really have to learn because as fire signs, I know you guys reacted a lot. You had to reteach yourself to react in a different way. It's not always what you say. Sometimes silence is better. Sometimes it's better to just go through the courts and not even deal with that person. Sometimes it's better to like let your character speak for itself and stay in a higher vibration of integrity and honor. You guys are getting organized, and this is what Spirit wants you guys to do. It says, reduce clutter and create more space for yourself. Make room for new ideas. Release, renew, realign. This is what you guys are doing. Your affirmation is, I have the space I need to thrive. This is why this person had to be removed. And they're going to continue to lose until they decide that they want to win in life. A lot of you guys are not letting this person back in. You know about their past. A lot of you guys were there with them. You guys may have known these people from childhood, from back in the days. A lot of you guys are just done. You put them in God's hands. You're focusing on your your new beginning, your new start, what's next for you. You're releasing. You're renewing your life. You guys have this new zest for life. It's renewal. It's a, it's a good thing. You're realigning to your path and purpose. You feel like this person delayed and blocked you for too long. No more. You have so many ideas they should have worked together with you to act on it. This person should have been like a prophet, should have been a business person beside you, should have been a better father figure, a better mother figure, a better friend, a better lover, a better spouse. They should have been better, far better. You're giving yourself the love that you didn't get from them and you're healing your inner child too. You have the space to thrive and flourish and be highly successful and blessed. Call in your harvest, manifest it, go after your dreams and goals. Some people are just too weak for this world, unfortunately, but we all get a choice and I believe we all can be strong. There's so much help out here. You know, there's hotlines, there's life coaches, there's friends. People have to learn to appreciate life. They have to number one, honor God, love God, appreciate life. And they don't, you guys do. And this is why you're not aligned with this person. They had their time. I feel like it's time is up, but of course you guys, um, you get free will, but um, people had time to change and get right. They thought you'd wait forever, but um, you're in a whole new uh, chapter, new beginning. I feel like you guys are more than a chapter. You guys are in a new book, you're closing this book. They can't go where you're going. You're focused on blessings and winning. They're a taker and you're not. You're a giver, but you're learning to give to you first. You're doing it right and you will be blessed. Okay, Sagittarius, this has been your reading for the mid-month of October year 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as seemingly possible. I'm sending you all so much joy, love, blessings, happiness, and abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye Sagittarius.